I'm Stephen Tong and I'm a digital artist specializing in 2D and 3D uh, digital art and I um, focus on uh, sci-fi fictions and realistic or minimalism style and I uh, cooperate with different partners such like a, a film company or design studio or game company or even a production house and I like I love to experience uh, uh, different styles and uh, enjoy digital creating. Uh, I started about 10 years ago and I uploaded my artworks on Facebook. At first there's, yeah, there's nobody who are you know, looking at or likes it, but after a, a while and started people to follow me and I, I just keep uploading my artworks and I get more uh, nice and good comments. And then uh, so I got more followers and then the companies started to uh, I invite, invite me or I receive some uh, corporations and then yeah I, I just start to be a professional. I was uh, very uh, interesting with drawing and playing figure models since I was young and, uh, and my parents noticed I probably were into art and then they encouraged me to learn art so I, uh, I went to art school for study like about uh, three and four years. Uh, yeah, I, I decided to you know, be a professional since I was in school and I, learned, I, uh, I know a lot of my friends were artists too. So I probably have a, a lot of inspiration from my parents and my friends too. Uh, this artwork was basically from my, uh, one of my creation series, Fish was a Stonefish and it's based on the, uh, my creation world, which people, uh, they will keep the fish in the fish tank. And when people uh, run out of food, they will take out the fish and the fish will become a real life fish and then they can eat it. The inspiration from this artwork is quite simple uh, because I, I love uh, going to aquariums and I, I love to keep fish or, or maybe jellyfish in my house, but that seems quite impossible in here. So I turned that, uh, you know, the energy or inspiration to become a digital art. Uh, during the rendering set stage, graphic cards performance will definitely change the speed. In the render setting, I enable a building features in Blender called Optic Denoising. It is designed for NVIDIA graphic cards, and this feature helps reduce noise when it becomes high sample so it will help me to uh, speed up my artworks. Uh, I believe NVIDIA has uh, influenced most of the digital uh, art uh, industry because uh, since like 10 years ago, I, I, was, I only know NVIDIA's graphic cards actually. The NVIDIA graphic card will you know, update in any time and it keeps having a new type of the you know, render systems and it changed a lot of industry, especially my, my artworks will have to use a lot of a speed, speed up the process. So yeah, I, I think the NVIDIA is quite a nice choice for me. The computer I use is the MSI Triton X2 and the monitor is an MAG 27.4 UPF. MSI has always been a brand I choose when it comes to hardware. Many people around me also use MSI motherboard or graphic cards. When I walk into the computer store, I always see MSI hardware on the first shelf. I think it is a wildly reliable brand. Most of my 3D software I use relies heavily on GPU. This MHG Trident X2 desktop has improved my 3D artworks production. Compared to my previous computer, which I used for a while, I immediately noticed different after using this MSI workstation. For example, when creating textures in Substance Painter, the preview of material updated speed faster. The performance issues such as lag or delaying in material function has improved. Also, the rendering speeds in Blender increase a lot. So I believe this workstation is suitable for making 3D creation.
Uh, before I dive into 3D creation, I never thought I would have a professional computer at home. I thought only special effects company had these hardwares. In this area, the quality of all visual production continues to improve. Public wants to better computer to play games or creation. The hardware of this computer is something I couldn't have imagined being so fast 10 years ago. With such an excellent hardware, I think I don't have excuse to you know, creating 3D artworks. And uh, I think through the human history, technologies and art are always influence each other. And I think, well, I believe uh, 3D art creation in the future's possibility is endless.